if I might pose a question to the senior senator from California. Um, in your response to Senator Cornyn, you mentioned that there's some 100 pages of the bill that specify particular firearms that, that if this bill were passed, Congress would have deemed prohibited. Uh, it seems to me that all of us should begin as our foundational document with the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And the Second Amendment in the Bill of Rights provides that the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The term, the right of the people, when the framers included it in the Bill of Rights, they used it as a term of art. That same phrase, the right of the people, is found in the First Amendment, the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition their government for redress of grievances. It's also found in the Fourth Amendment, the right of the people to be free from unreasonable searches and seizures. And, and the question that I would pose to the senior senator from California is, would she deem it consistent with the Bill of Rights for Congress to engage in the same endeavor that we are contemplating doing with the Second Amendment in the context of the First or Fourth Amendment? Namely, would she consider it constitutional for Congress to specify that the First Amendment shall apply only to the following books? and shall not apply to the books that Congress has deemed outside the protection of the Bill of Rights. Likewise, would she think that the Fourth Amendment's protection against searches and seizures could properly apply only to the following specified individuals and not to the individuals that Congress has deemed outside the protection of the Bill of Rights? Would Senator Yale well, for a question? Me, <laughs> let me just make a couple of points in response. One, I'm not a sixth grader. Senator, I've been on this committee for 20 years.